Dear CJ Thinker, welcome in this video number three of this series, one video per day until Christmas Day. Every day I take a question in my Discord or in the YouTube uh, comments and I make a video about it to answer and help you to progress in the art surface modeling, Fluent and Blender. And this is the problem of the day. Hey Rudy, I have a problem with this cut. I can't find how to add my support edge. Okay, so we will investigate about this mesh. So this is the file of the user and this is the problem. As always, the first thing is to display the wireframe. So display the wireframe. Ah, wait, I forget the screencast of the K. Okay, <laughs> the screencast is here, so I can continue. Like in the previous video, the, I need to find which object is used to create this face. Display the Boolean object and I find this is the object. For the user, the problem is, hey Rudy, I can't add an edge loop here because with Fluent everything is just plain. Yes, yes, it's true. It's true. It's a plane, so you can't add an edge here because you have only one face, and this face is here. So to understand how you can do it, we will make just an example on a simple object like like a cube. A cube is very useful to make an example. I will make a cut. F cut. Um, in this case, I will press uh, S to use a shape drawing. I hold shift and click on the face to define this face uh, like a drawing plane. I click here, control and click again, left click again, right click to validate and press V to cross the object. Okay, and right click to keep fluent. I add a new cut on this face with a rectangle and I want to add a support edge for this cut. Yes, I can't add, I can't add an edge in this direction, but I can add an edge in this direction. For that, enter in edit mode, select this edge, swap to vertex selection mode and press right click and do subdivide. And hey, hey, as you can see, I have a new vertex here and this vertex draw a new edge. Yes, because this boolean object is a plane with a solidify. So this vertex with the solidify will spread the position of the, of the vertex all along this direction and make an edge. Because it's a fluent object, F3, keep your new vertices selected, F3 and use the VG cleaner. Okay, now for this case, it's close, but not exactly the same. I display the Boolean object and find it's this object. I enter in edit mode. I select this edge and I will add new vertices. Press right click, subdivide, but how many times? One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, so seven. Enter, and we have new vertices. I deselect the first and the last, press SS, and I will make something like this. And now I will move each vertices, each vertex, like this. Move and boom. It's okay, we have all support edges for the Boolean object. I select all my new vertices, press F3 and reuse VG Cleaner. And you have now a perfect result. Okay, no problem. Every vertice is good because you have your support edge. You will become a master of the uh, edge support. It's very, very important. Um, 90 or more uh, percent of problem in art surface modeling is a problem with 
Bevel saw a problem with support of Boolean operation. And the problem is solved. One more problem solved. And see you tomorrow for the next video. Bye. Digital, share, balance, grow together.